Ken Sam's last year's winner is last but one. And at the rear heading just outside the two, Esprit de Scalier. They're inside the two mark now, Blast of Magic, just the leader from Red Symbol in the spots. Le Pelli is making ground over on the far side, and then Bambari, followed by Bellic as they race inside the final furlong. And it's the usual suspects battling it out. Le Pelli, Red Cap on the far side, Bellic is coming home well, and in between them, Red Symbol, Le Pelli on the inside of the spotted colours of Red Symbol. And at the rear heading just outside the two, Esprit de Scalier. They're inside the two mark now, Blast of Magic, just the leader from Red Symbol in the spots. Le Pelli is making ground over on the far side, and then Bambari, followed by Bellic as they race inside the final furlong. And it's the usual suspects battling it out. Le Pelli, Red Cap on the far side, Bellic is coming home well, and in between them, Red Symbol. Le Pelli on the inside of the spotted colours of Red Symbol, and Bellic as Le Pelli has gone two spots better than last year. Inside the two they come, it's Longburn, pressed on the outside by Ella Katrina, and then Wajah has dropped back, staying on as Naringkol, and also running on as Let's Get Started, and then Tam Luang inside the final 200 yards, and it is Ella Katrina, driven on by Colin Keane, is pulling away from Longburn with Let's Get Started on the far side, getting up for third, ahead of Naringkol, and a bit of a break then to Wajah. About all is followed by Wajahan, the blue jacket Ella Katrina pulled out to challenge the grey, being followed by Tam Luang, and then comes Amira with Nanning City and Narinkol. Inside the two they come, it's Longburn, pressed on the outside by Ella Katrina, and then Wajah has dropped back, staying on as Narinkol, and also running on as Let's Get Started, and then Tam Luang inside the final 200 yards, and it is Ella Katrina, driven on by Colin Keane, is pulling away from Longburn with Let's Let's get started on the far side, getting up for third, ahead of Narinkal, and a bit of a break then to Wajah. Miss Nossi Boots over on the far side is in a duel with King's Vow, who's now beginning to gain the upper hand. King's Vow and Declan McDonough going on from Miss Nossi Boots Staying on is Guild, and at the finish, King's Vow draws away to win by four. Guild second, then Miss Nossi Boots, Louvre de Soleil. Smacked there in between horses, followed by Guild. And then comes Louvre de Soleil and Bal de Rio. In the middle of the track is Duke of Waspington, and then Rip Stream as Miss Nossi Boots over on the far side is in a duel with King's Vow, who's now beginning to gain the upper hand. King's Vow and Declan McDonough going on from Miss Nossi Boots. Staying on is Guild, and at the finish, King's Vow draws away to win by four. Guild second, then Miss Nossi Boots, Louvre de Soleil, and the early pacemaker, Irradiate. with just over two to go and it is Arsha Keeler rejoined by China Storm and then comes Algeria Mighty Mirage in the middle of the track running on to good effect as Maul and then comes Mythologic as they race down towards the final furlong and it's Maul and Connor Hoban coming now to press China Storm then comes Mighty Mirage and into the closing stages Maul is edging ahead to beat China Storm Mythologic is third fourth Mighty Mirage And it is Arsha Keeler rejoined by China Storm. And then comes Algeria, Mighty Mirage in the middle of the track, running on to good effect as Maul. And then comes Mythologic as they race down towards the final furlong. And it's Maul and Connor Hoban coming now to press China Storm. Then comes Mighty Mirage and into the closing stages. Maul is edging ahead to beat China Storm. Mythologic is third, fourth, Mighty Mirage. Our man and being delivered is No Needs Never and then Basra Breeze, Hey Pretty, Mira and Monga. And these have gone on from the back marker, Wave Walker. It's Barman getting to the front from No Needs Never. Now being asked to try and bridge the gap on the near side, but it's Barman in front and responding well for Ronan Whelan. It's going to be a Friday Lights double for the man on board the winner. Barman beat No Needs Never.
yuften adrift and it's barman and being delivered. There's no needs never and then Basra Breeze, Hey Pretty, Mira and Monga. And these have gone on from the back marker Wave Walker. It's Barman getting to the front from No Needs Never. Now being asked to try and bridge the gap on the near side, but it's Barman in front and responding well for Ronan Whelan. It's going to be a Friday Lights double for the man on board. The winner, Barman beat No Needs Never. Yuffton adrift and turn. And then comes uh, Flower Garland, who's been driven to try and close. Eglish next with Bolly Bullet as they race him with a furlong and a half to go. And it's Johan the Great, and on the outside, Eglish is challenging. And then Bolly Bullet, J.M. Batty is wide of them with uh, Laurel Grove wakening. And then Cosman, Flower Garland, in funny little ways. It's Eglish in front as they run to the finish from Bolly Bullet. And at the line, Eglish by about half a length to Bolly Bullet. Another half a length back to the third finisher. And then comes uh, Flower Garland, who's been driven to try and close. Eglish next with Bolly Bullet as they race him with a furlong and a half to go. And it's Johan the Great, and on the outside, Eglish is challenging. And then Bolly Bullet, J.M. Batty is wide of them with uh, Laurel Grove wakening. And then Cosman, Flower Garland in funny little ways. It's Eglish in front as they run to the finish from Bolly Bullet. And at the line, Eglish by about half a length to Bolly Bullet. Another half a length back to the third finisher. J.M. Batty. Coming through in between horses is so familiar. And then just behind them, looking for an outing, is Mulzam. Racing inside the final 150 yards. And it's Mulzam and Joe Doyle coming through in between horses to get up and win it. Goes on to score by a length and a half. Second is Tynamite, an amazing one, and so familiar. Hunted up by Amazing One, Tynamite just behind them with Major Power on the left is Lenovia coming through in between horses is so familiar. And then just behind them looking for an outing is Mulzam racing inside the final 150 yards. And it's Mulzam and Joe Doyle coming through in between horses to get up and win it. Goes on to score by a length and a half. Second is Tynamite, an amazing one and so familiar. Lady Sonia is the leader, being followed by Beleaguerment, who's coming on the outside. Red All-Star and Tyr Connell, and then ticks the boxes. Midnight Mud Crab, Silk Cravat next. Racing inside the final 150 yards. Lady Sonia from Beleaguerment on the near side as they run up to the finish. Beleaguerment is showing great battle on the near side. Beleaguerment from Lady Sonia, Silk Cravat. Lady Sonia is the leader, being followed by Beleaguerment, who's coming on the outside. Red All-Star and Tyr Connell, and then ticks the boxes. Midnight Mud Crab, Silk Cravat next. Racing inside the final 150 yards. Lady Sonia from Beleaguerment on the near side as they run up to the finish. Beleaguerment is showing great battle on the near side. Beleaguerment from Lady Sonia, Silk Cravat, Red All-Star and Midnight Mud Crabs. <laughs> 